oh my gosh you never know what you're gonna get into when you just go with the flow and follow your nose gonna take a big bus city tour here in Dubai I always it's actually my third or fourth day here I usually like to take the big bus city tour on the first or second day of being in a city so that I can get the lay of the land and kind of know where I want to revisit um, you can also do this with a helicopter tour if you're a baller if you're adventurous like that but I usually like to do the bus tour just because I can hear them give me the um, they give you kind of an auditory tour of the sites you have to see everything you do sit in a little bit of traffic but it's usually pretty chill air-conditioned uh, pretty fun so I'm gonna start that today. I am at Palm Atlantis. I'm staying at the Duke Hotel, but this tour starts at Palm Atlantis. And as you can see, there are a lot of people here, mainly Indian and Chinese. So uh, yeah, it should be a cool day. Come along and yeah, getting back into it, vlogging, travel vlogging, Travel Alchemist Collective here in Dubai. Let's see what we get into. Okay, so I met some, made some friends on the tour bus and now I'm following them along with them on tour Dubai. Uh, whenever you travel, you end up doing the most random things. So I'm following my nose and following these folks from Utah. Uh, they flew into San Francisco and then around the top of the globe to get to Dubai and then they're off to India next. Uh, so yeah, they're pretty dope. And I'm following my nose. Trying to figure out which boat to get in. All right, here we go.
right, so we're out on the marina, and this is totally like spontaneous. <laughs> it's totally spontaneous. I just ended up uh, coming with some folks from Utah that I met on the boat, and I'm so glad I did because when I tell you the views out here are spectacular, they're totally spectacular. I bought a bus tour, as you guys know, I did the bus tour, and the bus tour ticket came with a boat tour, and so now I'm here on the marina. And yeah, that's travel life. You just do random things and end up with the most amazing memories and views. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying the footage and getting first hand view of this travel album. gosh you never know what you're gonna get into when you just go with the flow and follow your nose the fine folks from Utah Kelly and John who I met at the Palm Atlantis invited me up to the 52nd floor of the Marriott for the observation deck and then now I am on the 12th floor overlooking the marina how gorgeous oh my god Dubai is turning out to be amazing Oh my gosh, Dubai is turning out to be totally amazing. I am doing the most spontaneous thing, hanging out with a few folks that I met on the bus tour uh, at the Palm Atlantis, and they're just inviting me, inviting me out around with them. Uh, we've already done a boat yacht tour on the marina. I went up to the 52nd floor on the observation deck here at the Marriott, and now I'm on the 12th floor overlooking the marina and. You just never know what you're going to get into when you travel, when you solo travel. Sometimes you have to just follow your nose and do things that are a little bit uncomfortable, but always end up 
super lit. So yeah, the vibes. Um, I want to tell you guys some of my thoughts um, towards the end of the trip. But for now, yeah, things are going good. Hey, John. <laughs> hey. How are you? Hey, what's up? Hey. Are you on video? <laughs> yeah, I'm videoing. Hey, you have a water bottle you want me to fill up? Oh. Pashmina scarves. hair is wrapped like this just to keep the wind off of me a bit but uh, just wanted to share this view with you guys um, today has been amazing just woke up this morning early early this morning and said I wanted to do a bus tour and ended up meeting these amazing folks from Utah and I've been running around with them and we ended up here um, across the Burj Al Arab Um, and we're eating at Shimmers, which is here behind me. Um, yeah, this is a beautiful time and always serendipitous and crazy and yeah, having a good time. the truth of what a mind to buy trip look like looks like sometimes. Uh, this morning I got up, did some breathing exercises and every morning I've been journaling. So this morning I decided to um, journal from outside um, in the sun a bit. 
and there is construction happening next door so I just end up observing all the men working really really hard and just sort of d d d d observing divine masculine in all its glory and how they're going to go from nothing to something and being inspired by that and how they actually put their lives at risk to do that. You can see them down there. And uh, I just was looking at myself in the mirror honestly and thinking this is pretty dope um, and the reality of, of, of my life is that so um yeah I just wanted to capture that bye guys here in Dubai. I just bought myself a little something um, just to celebrate my birthday and also I've been really wanting jewelry. Um, I really wanted some nice pieces of jewelry and um, I was able to pick out a couple things here in Dubai that I really 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 wanted. So um, I might do a little bit of a haul from what I got in Dubai and uh, show you guys some of the things that really kind of sparked joy and <laughs> sparked joy and made me feel good. Um, being here so um, yeah I might do a haul if that's of interest of you, to you guys I think it will be, it will be. Um, I got some interesting things this trip has been super <sighs> transformative a lot of change uh, during this trip and I'm feeling really 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 good today is my last no today's not my last full day tomorrow will be my last full day in Dubai it is Saturday so I have one more day this has been a long trip and I'm really I've been enjoying it um, anyway, so here's a little bit more footage from the gold and diamond district here in Dubai. just took the Dubai Metro and I'm going to the Dubai Mall to try to jump on the bus to go to see Old Town um, on the bus tour. I only have like an hour left of that but I wanted to take the, make the most of it so I'm going to see if I can catch up with that bus and take a quick whiz 
through Old Town. I believe the bus tour ends at 6, that's what I've been told. Um, and it's about 5 o'clock now, so yeah, we're on another adventure here in Dubai. So far, so good. Yeah. One thing I will say is that everyone says how safe it is here. And I feel that as well. Like, I don't even have to watch my purse and my belongings that hard in the U.S. or any other European cities. If you're on the metro or public transportation or if you're, even if you're shopping, you're watching your purse like a hawk. But here in Dubai, it's, there's kind of a sense of calm that nobody would dare take your stuff. You know what I mean? And I don't know if it's a false sense of security, but I don't care because I feel it. I feel secure and I'm loving it. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that as well. Really, really safe, really clean, really respectful. Feeling it.